Oh, hey, what's up? I just purchased the one thing that's supposed to make the Shure MV7 sound a million times better. And that's the RK345 windscreen, AKA the one that comes on the Shure SM7B. Let's see if it's worth it. Okay, so for starters, let me just say this thing only cost me like 15 bucks. So I'm holding it to a high standard, but I'm also gonna be a little bit more lenient, okay? It didn't cost me a ton of money, but I got it because the audio with the other wind filter was catching every single breath that I took. I sounded like Jabba the Hutt just ran a mile. I promise, like while I was streaming, it was terrible. So if it even does half of what people say it does, I'll be impressed. So for the sound test, I picked a couple quotes I found on the internet that I'm gonna read using both windscreens to see if I notice a difference at all. And also I'm just gonna breathe very heavily in your guys' ear and make some popping noises. When your mother asks, do you want a piece of advice? It is more of a formality. It doesn't matter if you answer yes or no, you're gonna get it. When your mother asks, do you want a piece of advice? It's more of a formality. It doesn't matter if you answer yes or no, you're gonna get it anyways. I saw a study that said speaking in front of a crowd is considered the number one fear of the average person. Number two was death. This means to the average person, if you were at a funeral, you'd rather be in the casket than doing the eulogy. I saw a study that said speaking in front of a crowd is considered the number one fear of the average person. Number two was death. This means to the average person, if you have to be at a funeral, you'd rather be in the casket than doing the eulogy. All right, this is going to sound weird, but I'm just going to say pop and have some breaths in between to see how it picks up the breaths. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, so do I think it's as necessary as everybody makes it out to be? No. Um, I still, I, I did get really close to the microphone to see if it picked up the breaths and it still does pick them up with both windscreens. So, you know, it is what it is. It's any mic's gonna pick it up if you get that close, but I was kind of hoping for a better result. And sometimes when I'm streaming, I forget where I'm at and I get kind of close to the microphone like that. And you're gonna hear every single one of those breaths, no matter what windscreen I have. So I guess it was just kind of false dreams. Uh, didn't know there's much difference in the sound. Maybe I'm tripping with that one, um, but it did do better with the breaths and the pops, but for 15 bucks, it is what it is. I don't think it's absolutely necessary to get this, but if you want to get the best quality out of your microphone, then I would say go ahead and grab it. If you like this video, I would love you to check out one of these other videos I made about the Shure MV7. I got one about the settings I use, and I also got one about the MV7 compared to the Elgato Wave. I'd love you to check either one of those out.